Hello everyone, it's me, Destiny, your neighborhood chat GPT obsessed recruiter. Uh, I was getting ready to go on my midday walk and I had to turn around and record this video for you because I'm obsessed with this hack. So if you missed uh, my recent post, I did a post and I shared with you not just 20 different uh, ways that you could use chat GPT in your recruiting efforts, but I actually went ahead and on YouTube, I shared myself doing this and I give you the actual prompts that you can copy and paste yourself. So feel free to go use that. In this video, I just want to share with you a really interesting way to use chat GPT to support you in your diversity sourcing efforts. Now, when I say that, what I mean is if I notice that a pipeline is male heavy, female heavy, or if I realize that there's not a single person of color at my organization or at my team, I will make it a point to take time out of each and every day to make sure I am reaching out to candidates from different backgrounds. Now, how do you do that, right? Now, this is where ChatGPT came into play. So this is something that I would have to do manually in the past, and I was able to just have ChatGPT do this for me. So let's see how the results come out. So first, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to make a list of HBCs. If you're not familiar with HBCs, it stands for Hysteric Hysteric Dorkly Black Colleges. So let's go ahead, make a list of HBCs. And as that list generates, let's go ahead and think ahead. So what this is doing is this is going ahead and this is making a list of not all, but um, many of the most popular historically black colleges and universities that are based here in the United States. As you see, each college has the city and state next to it, uh, which is a bit of a chore. Now, again, this is not a perfect list, so what I'll do is I'll upload a blog post with um, a longer list just so that you have access to that. Uh, knowledge is power. Uh, but we're just gonna use what we have in front of us to just go ahead and make this example. So it's not helpful for me to just copy that list and then go ahead and make a Boolean string uh, search myself. I can also technically copy that, put it into a little Excel sheet that I once used uh, to help me generate these and make sure that I'm writing these, these strings and these searches without error. But again, um, I feel like you know I'm a little too lazy for that, right? So what do I do here? So then I decided to type in this prompt. I wrote, use this list to create, let's see, let me just do the right one first, um, to create a Boolean string to help me target software engineers or software developers at each school. Let's see what happens. All right, so this is actually doing what I ended up generating at the end. So what this is doing is this is making a Boolean string for someone who has graduated or gone to any of those schools and they are either a software engineer or a software developer. In the first example, when I did this, it did a list and it did it individually to target each school. And then we went ahead and just said, actually just make one for all of this. Um, this is super helpful because depending on, you know, where you're using Boolean strings, there might be different character limits uh, that you could use. And I imagine I can go in right here and let's try it and see if they can edit this Boolean string to be shorter. Um, let's see, I don't know how many characters that is, so let me just try this. Um, make that Boolean string no more than 60 characters. Let's see what happens. It's great because what this did is ChatGPT knew to move software engineer and software developer to the front because regardless of how long this ended up being, we needed those two uh, pieces of, of information to target the right kinds of candidates with the right kinds of skills. And then it went ahead and I imagine it shortened um, that where it needed to be. So uh, that being said, I got a network error and it's time to go on my walk. I hope uh, that's been helpful and I'm super, super excited for the future. Uh, enjoy your day, everyone.